Fantastic first start to finals. Alright, so here in winner's finals, where we're at, this is best of five. Three, two, one. Um, special. Looks like they're both playing their second mains. Robert going someone who's trying to pick up, get up to zero seed level, uh, ZSS being his main, yep. for like matchup difficulties. And Churro plays Falco quite a bit. Uh, he's a Mario main, but he has a Falco, a Villager, and a Little Max that are all definitely tournament level. Pretty good ones as well. <laughs> Almost gets the grab there, but spot dodge with my turtle just didn't have this thing happen. Now thanks, Smash. Oh, 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 oh. Trying to get him. Nice blade, but gets punished for it. Alright, so they're just kind of back and forth. Um, a lot of damage is happening. <laughs> <laughs> Reflects the laser, doesn't even shield it. This is going to be the top right. level neutral game ever. Top level neutral game ever. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> What's up with this? So, Doc hey. has. I feel like probably has some pretty good edge guarding on Falco, but that's more because the spaces just have really exploitable recoveries. True. They're very linear, and then if you have to resort to the up B, then it's just like you're sitting there for a while, and they have time to do whatever they want. And then you can mix up which direction you go, but it's not. It's not amazing. Also, Doc has. Uh um, good options of edge guarding like down smash, down smash, and forward smash. Down smash, I believe, hits past the ledge from how I've seen Grover use it at least. Up smash is good for when they're already on the ledge. It covers a ton of options. And after the recent patch, they actually changed it, where it'll hit like heavily the direction you're facing instead of like upwards and a little bit behind him. Oh, that's, cool. that's actually um, how Grover got me last game. But so it's just it's super good for if you're at the ledge, and it also hits far enough that it covers. It definitely covers ledge stand, and you can probably outspace ledge attack too, from some characters. Like Blowbear, I see he's been doing a lot of waiting and doing that grab. It's fantastic. Yep. Oh, and right there we see part of why Falco, despite being like a fun character, he has some issues. Uh, his side B, the last third of it, he doesn't have a hitbox for whatever reason. Why not? Oh, back hit of the bicycle kick, or it's not bicycle kick, but whatever the flip kick's name is. Will manage to tag. No, it's not. Yeah. Uh, that's uh, like uh, lingering aerials, like something Doc and Mario and Luigi Nair. Yeah. yeah. But, anyways, managed to catch Robert, taking the stock. Joe's definitely at a very scary percent, and he has no shield now, basically. Yep, that. Up be out of shield. Such a great option for Doc. It's super fast, it's frame free invincible, and it has a massive hit Kind of the same thing with uh, Ninja, where you can go to shield and go to counter and go up with it and kill. Um, it's actually a lot better than that because it's out of shield, so you don't have to go to shield drop and then counter or anything like that. It's just, it's invincible, and then the hitbox is like two Dr. Mario's wider than it looks like, and it kills. It, it's just really good. And because it's an up B, you can just jump cancel it out of shield, mm, so okay. it's really fast. Like, a lot of things are not safe on Doc's shield. It would be otherwise. Oh. Looks like he was staying Falco. Luigi. Or no, he's going to Mario. He's going Mario. Yep. The class of the twins. <coughs> wow, the time traveler battle, I guess. It Mario like... before he went off to school and afterwards. Go back to that salty run back to Three, Smash Bros. Uh, I, I I feel like both players just kind of like the shade. I don't okay. think there's anything salty about this. I mean, they're friends, they, I'm sure they fight all the time. So this is probably just, like, honestly having fun at this point. Ooh, goes to the nice hard grab. read up B, but doesn't connect, so didn't want to commit there. I always see that, um, that down, that down here by Mario. It's really good. Yeah, it's like, basically lagless. Um, you just combo it into a handful of things, and then it's, like, it's insanely safe. There is an issue with it, um, used against characters with, like frame 3 nares or save options like ZSS's down B becomes a good in frame 3. Because right before the last hit, there's three frames where you can act while Mario can't. Uh, did you buffer anything out of that? No, smash A. I'm like, oh hey look, I didn't get it. Uh, you can buffer at any point in the game. But it's... 
hits if you land with it, then the last hit doesn't come out though, so it makes it really good there. Okay. And ooh, Bro Bear. We're going for that really low smash. Misses, and then Bro Bear gets his own up smash. Yep. Both the Mario Bros. Or, oh yeah. Both, Both Mario the Mario Bros. Bros. And then also Doc, who is also Mario, have insanely good. Like, they've been really good throughout the game. Like, all the games. But in this game, it's just... Like, it's almost safe on shield. It's obviously invincible on the head and killing. And it's fast. So fast. Is it as good as Rosalina's or is it really well? Uh, I don't know. I'd probably give it to Mario, honestly. Because of speed and invincibility. But, I mean, Luma kind of makes everything dumb, so... That hit smash from that? the back. Oh, or did he actually drop shield? It looks it like he dropped shield. Like... It looks like he dropped shield. No, it was so fast. It, I didn't see the shield drop, which is why I was confused. So that had to be like, just hand a frame or two of it dropping. Because the shield drop animation is pretty fast. Nice tech to back here, but he doesn't get it. So the nice thing about Doc in this matchup is that he outtrades Mario, like, all the time, and he can combo break with the Nair, which stops Mario from just using his mobility to juggle Doc forever. Um, I think this is probably a pretty even matchup. I don't know, I don't play good characters, but I've heard quite a few Doc mains actually say it's probably in Doc's favor. Does think Doc have, um, more agile for damage on his moves? Uh, he has more damage on his moves, yeah. Mario's are really low, and he also has more knockback. I'm surprised he can't kill mobility, which is. I'm surprised he can't kill back here. Oh, I'm pretty sure he can eventually, but with that, Robert goes up 2-0 on Churro. And we go into game three. See ya. Wow. Okay. What is? My. Yeah. Okay. So that's great. So my mic is working sometimes, and then oh here, um. Don't bump this at all, or it makes clicking noises. So hold it. Like, yeah. Alright, is that better? There we go. Okay, Hello. that's what we're looking for. Ow. We're back at Smash Bros. again. Yep. Alright, let's get this switch back over. So, apologies if there's clicking at any point. I don't know what is causing that. And also, if it sounds like we're just idiots and only clicking on our end or something, that's possible too. <laughs> Anyways, getting into this, um, Robert took a very solid early lead, like 113 to 20. I'm sure, he's starting to bring it back now, but he's at the point where, like, if he hits Doc's shield with something wrong, then Doc is up 8, and that's probably a dead Mario. This is like wow. Doc's oh, okay, but Churro okay. takes it. Like, first stock. Nice cape gimp. Doc's recovery is definitely his weakest point. Or, at least one of them. It's like basically a little max here. The only thing that stops it from being worse than little max is the fact that he can stall with uh, his down in the air, like uh, wait out edge like guards. Everything else, it like actually travels less distance. That's nice thinking back here though. It moves back down. Yeah. I'm actually surprised that, well, we've seen a lot of back here. We haven't seen, I guess, as much as I would expect to, because that's like. Mario, and I would assume Doc's, or, and definitely Doc, sorry, Doc's even better. Just, uh, like, the safest hopes in a pro drop is in neutral. Because they don't actually have that much to safe on shield, or the thing is that if are, like, fair, you can just watch it start. Oh, no. I'm not gonna shield it, I'm gonna spot dodge it. It's what? Faster. Uh, bear? Yeah. Uh, it's the same for each one. Yeah. But, uh, Doc, because his jump is so low, he can just short hop bear all across the stage, have it auto cancel, and then also um, hit like a lot sooner to when he lands, so the auto cancel is like, more effective. Nice Churro with a nice, though. like he stepped back to outspace Robert's back, but forward smash rip. Yeah, like a Beyblade. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Survival. Why? Why are these clicking? Because they're fantastic. <laughs> I guess. So once I remove, it, it looks like it's out. Yeah, I wonder if it's something to do with the table. Go! I have no idea. <laughs> um, let's see. Oh, whoops. whoops. Turned myself way up. It's like we're going back for this time. Yep. Um, I don't actually know which one of these characters the stage is better for. Oh, the 
but it, it's pretty solid for both of them. Battlefield tends to be pretty good for people who juggle vertically, which with Mario's up air and all his like up tilt combos and stuff, that's definitely something he's pretty good at. Doc? And, you know, actually, this might be better for Mario because Doc might like the horizontal one so he can string his back airs together. But he doesn't really have the mobility to follow it far enough to kind of even out with Mario's up air juggles. But Churro is doing really well. He's just calling out what Rover is going to do next, punishing it. It might not be super hard punishes, but he's just, like, getting it pretty reliably. Yeah. Um, if Robert had died in, he would have gotten hit by it. But he, I'm assuming he's either seen it before or just was trying to get away. And so he helps back. Ooh, up smash, out of shield. I always forget that that pokes through the ledge. Especially on Battlefield, because the limbs are super thin. I would have expected that Mario actually uh, did more damage out of it before the damage comes in. Really? Yeah, that's what I was saying. But I guess it's not. That's what I was saying from, like, um... Alright. Um, speaking of nares, obviously Mario's super good at combo breaking. And it's pretty strong at the start. Doc's Nair is actually a reverse sex kick. It starts weak and then gets stronger closer to the end of the move. So it's less good for combo breaking, which honestly kind of harms utility a decent amount. But, what? Uh, both, it's just a big circle around him. But, um, ooh, he took the cape damage and didn't actually turn around. <laughs> But it can, you can like throw out Nair early and like move into people, and if you read the air dodge, then it'll hit like really hard. Oh, how on earth did... Huh. I could have sworn that Nox, uh, Tornado had like half a second of end lag after the last hitbox frame. But I guess not, that looks pretty safe. Like, on the ledge, of course. If you're standing pretty close to him and shield it, you can still get spot, but I don't know, I wonder if that changed too. Oh, and then flying backwards across. Oh, okay, hang on, hang on. I think I figured out what it was. Um, when I was against Robear, he killed me in that last game by up smashing my roll from the ledge. And I actually went into it thinking he's probably gonna up smash here, but there's a chance he won't, and even if he does, it's gonna hit me towards the stage. But it looks like um the back hit of Doc's up smash sends in front, and the front hit sends behind you. Which makes no sense, but it at least now explains how I died there. <laughs> um, and that actually makes it quite a bit scarier for edge guarding too, because if you read the roll, then they're just gonna fly towards the ledge. But then also, you can just send them flying back towards the stage if you hit them with the forehead. Right there at the end. I mean, it kind of makes sense that Doc's up smash would hurt a lot. He does have like a piece of metal on his head. I feel like in real life that wouldn't actually hurt that much. Like with how thin it is, we, we can just say it's. Yeah, probably. Oh, and Brobear will take it with a down smash, thus securing his spot in Grand Finals on the winner's side. Oh yeah. Okay. So it looks like I'm up against Kaito Kun on stream now. So, yep. So, Kekun, 